Hi guys and welcome to today's video on percentages and the unitary method. It's really good to see you. It's building on the work I have done previously. So we've looked at percentages and fractions and decimals and how to convert them and how to find percentage change and all that type of stuff. And we've looked at the unitary method, that idea of taking prices in supermarkets back to stand for one unit or something so that we can compare. How do we combine those together? Well, that's the point of this video. And the shame of it is so many students out there, and I know you're not one of them, sort of learn stuff and then sort of finish the lesson and go, okay, I'm done with that, put it in a box, put it to one side. But mathematics links together and it's the people who find those links who actually do the best. So hopefully you're one of those guys who's watching this video and are gonna smash this. Okay, so, oh, hold on a moment. In the corner, there's a little doohickey. Can you just click it for me? It just subscribes to my YouTube channel. No, I'm not rich, I'm not famous. I've got about eight subscribers. Never ever gonna get uh, famous. No one watches maths uh, videos to be perfectly honest with you. It just lets me know that you're watching and that actually means the world to me. And above is a link to mathsguru.com which is the website where you can find all of these videos linked by textbooks, by chapters and with downloadable notes. Oh, could I be any more helpful? Yes, I can do your homework, but probably not. So recapping then, uh, if we go back to the previous lesson, you know, as I said, you know, you can go and look at those little labels uh, on the supermarket shelves. And what do you see? Well, you'll see the actual price that they charge you. Yes, this price here, $7.62, $5.94. Why is there a $5.74? Why is there a difference? Because that's two and a half liters and that's one and a half liters. So which is the better value? Which one should you buy? Which one are you going to save money at? And that's why they then give you this unit price here. So for the two and a half liters, you're paying $3.05 per liter. For the 1.5 liters, you're paying $3.85. How did they do that? They just used the unitary method. And that video is there for you to watch as well. How did they do that? Well, they said $5.74, there's my money, is equal to or the same as uh, in liters, 1.5 liters. And they said, well, how do I get that down to the unitary method? Well, because they want one liter, they put a one here. And we know that to get from any value to the number one, you divide by itself. So if I divide that by 1.5, in maths, I have to do the same here. And when I do that on my calculator, I do in fact get $3.83. And so that means that one liter of this, one liter, because it's one in the liters column, is equal to $3.83 in the monetary column. And likewise, there were other examples given in the lessons where, you know, 500 napkins would cost you $3.49, and that worked out to be 0 0.7 cents, not 70 cents, 0 0.7 cents per napkin. And here, if you bought three lots at $5 each, then you were actually only paying 67, and you'd have a load of napkins. Occasionally, things go horribly wrong, because for a 575 gram here, apparently, you're gonna pay $631 per 100 grams, which means for that box of sanitarium, you're gonna pay about $3,000. Hmm, somebody didn't watch this video or my previous videos and is now working at a supermarket. Very concerning. Now don't press stop, not just yet guys. This is a preview video and you've reached almost the end of it, but it does continue over on mathsguru.com. Mathsguru.com, yep, that's my custom website. Bits of it you can see around me at the moment. That has been designed to allow the videos to be easier searched than they are on YouTube. So you can search by chapter, by textbook. Each video has downloadable notes for you, so you can put them in your summary book or your exercise book. There are exam questions, and there is more and more content and more stuff coming as time allows. So head on over there, it's absolutely free to sign up and I'm doing everything I can to make sure that you guys enjoy maths and actually take out the mastery of maths. It is not as hard as you think, it is all smoke and mirrors. Okay, thanks very much. Take care guys, I look forward to seeing you in another video. Stay safe.